autoimmunity trumps everything. That's a principle we live by every day in our office because we see it play out and play out and play out. For patients who aren't addressing autoimmunity, they can't get control of their hormones, they can't get control of their immune system, they can't get control of toxins, they can't get control of their musculoskeletal system, and they'll keep having the same joint problems over and over and over again, which will go in cycles and patterns, and people will fluctuate back and forth with their symptoms, and they will gain weight and lose weight without having uh, a change in their diet and they will have fevers and then they will get cold and they will go back and forth and sometimes they'll feel like both at the same time and their symptoms will cycle they will come and go and if it's a lady their uh, symptoms often start after a hormonal shift like pregnancy or having a baby or reaching menopause these are some of the clues that a condition is autoimmunity, cycling symptoms. And problem, I'm thinking of a lady I saw just recently, she was seeing another uh, doc that does chiropractic and some stem cell therapy and things. And they're very competent at what they do, but she got better and then she got worse. She got better and she got worse. She got better and she got worse. And it was confusing the fire out of her other docs but it was because she's autoimmune. And if you don't address autoimmunity first, because autoimmunity trumps everything. So we have to address autoimmunity first to get a foothold and a level playing field for the person uh, to get healthier. And a lot of times this autoimmunity hasn't been picked up yet because when the body's in an autoimmune process, it takes years and years and years to develop the right antibodies at the right levels until you see the right markers to give it an official diagnosis. And by that time, a person's health is in a pretty poor state and they're needing a lot of crisis, uh, crisis medical care. And by finding these issues early, we can do something early to calm the whole system down and help the person be as healthy as possible. And we have a particular way that we check a person. We have them stand and close their eyes and we don't see a sway when they close their eyes because their brain is locked up by the autoimmunity. Then we do a visual stimulus to the brain, to the left and to the right, which opens up reflex points for us to test with our laser and when we see a change in the nervous system over that reflex point, we know that that's the window to the brain. And these reflex points are extremely useful and extremely uh, relatable to a person's prior history and to a person's lab work. And by addressing the brain that way, we can calm the brain down, which calms the immune system down, and then we help pull away the toxin or the infection, the bad guy, through homeopathics or nutritional support. And then the whole system calms down, gets to a stable baseline. Uh, one of our most amazing testimonials I would refer you to here is about Heather, who had Hashimoto's low thyroid, then later, a few years later, spun into Graves' disease, hyperthyroid. And then when we identified the issue with our QNRT technique uh, through this exam process and identified the issue as Epstein-Barr virus. We were able to reset her brain for the Epstein-Barr virus for the triggers that essentially put blinders on the brain so that the brain can't deal with that. And, and we have a whole video on that. We talked about people with Epstein-Barr tend to feel like there's no hope. They have to be perfectionistic and a, a number of criteria, uh, things like that. So we reset the brain to those uh, issues and traumas that led to that. And then we get the person on homeopathic serious therapy, which pulls the bad guy away from the body. And as we did that for her, 
She's now over one year with normal thyroid labs and no thyroid medication, and that's pretty rare. And that's um, what can happen, though, when we take the concept of autoimmunity trumps everything, and then we can find the autoimmunity and deal with it long before uh, disaster happens. And that's so valuable for people and something that people are coming you know, for a good many different states to see us for that because that's something you can't really get anywhere else. And I'd encourage you to look at a lot of our other autoimmune videos and see what we're doing in that regard and look at some of the testimonials and figure out how that we could help you be healthier long before you get into a chronic um, issue that needs a lot of strong medical intervention. And by solving these problems early, it really changed the, changes the quality of people's life and they do so much better because there is an other side to autoimmunity if the, a person's doing the right things. And you want to get in our Facebook group, Drugless Support for Autoimmunity. Drugless Support for Autoimmunity. Join that. You can get more conversation there. Uh, be sure and subscribe to us on uh, YouTube here. Uh, like our videos, like our page on Facebook, Winners Wellness Center, and that uh, specific page drugless support for autoimmunity look forward to helping you in the future if you're interested in care just give our office a call 270-554-2141 my staff will do a great job at helping you or email us at info at winterswellness.com i'm dr michael winters winters wellness chiropractic redefined <music>